It feels as though we just started the 3 nanometers chip era and already foundries like TSMC and Samsung Foundry are ready to start mass producing flagship smartphone application processors. APs at the 2 nanometers node during the second half of next year, the first gen to nanometers process node known inside Samsung Foundry, as SF2 will be used to produce Samsung's Exynos 2600 AP. Apple Ku Jeff Williams reportedly met recently with TSMC President and Co-Chief Executive Officer CC Wei to discuss reserving to nanometers production for its 2 out of 5A series, M series, and AI chips. Samsung is hoping to match Apple and according to ET News via Samobile, it has begun development of a chip code named Edis, which will be mass-produced by Samsung Foundry using its 2 nanometers process node starting next year. This chip will be, as we noted earlier, the Exynos 2600 and if Samsung continues its dual-chip strategy for the 2026 flagship line, you can expect the Galaxy S to 6 and the Galaxy S to 6 to be powered by the Exynos 2600 everywhere but the US, China, and Canada. In those three markets the Galaxy S to 6 and Galaxy S to 6 will be equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 SOC. The latter chip will power the Galaxy S 26 Ultra in all markets. Earlier this month, we told you that the Exynos 2600 SOC will be the first chipset to feature Samsung's in-house GPU. This will replace AMD's GPU which was used on the Exynos 2400 AP and will be used with the Exynos 2500 as well. But if earlier rumors and the latest report from ET News is correct, Samsung will turn to its in-house design to produce the GPU that will be used with the Exynos 2600 if everything goes to plan. The iPhone 17 series will be the first smartphones to employ a 2 nanometers chipset in September 2025, when Apple unveils and releases the iPhone 17 series. That year we could see one 2 nanometers chipset power the iPhone 17, iPhone 17 Pro, the iPhone 17 Pro Max, and the iPhone 17 Ultra. Samsung won't turn to its 2 nanometers Exynos 2600 sock until January, February 2006 when the Galaxy S26 series is introduced and released.